हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक वाइट कोट हाइपरटेंशन व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज वाइट कोट सिंड्रोम और वाइट कोट इफेक्ट दिस वाइट कोट हाइपरटेंशन इज अ मेडिकल फिनोमिनॉन इन व्हिच ए पर्संस ब्लड प्रेशर रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर कंसिस्टेंटली हायर व्हेन इट इज मेजर्ड इन अ मेडिकल सेटिंग इट मींस इफ इट इज मेजर्ड in any doctor's office or clinic or in any hospital as compared to the blood pressure recordings which is done outside of such medical settings like home or in any relaxed settings if the blood pressure measurement is more than or equal to 140 by 90 mm hg in any clinical setting or medical setting then the white coat hypertension is confirmed if the bp recording in the same individual is coming normal that is less than 130 by 80 mm hg in home setting the term white coat refers to the white coats which is typically worn by the healthcare professionals including doctors nurses and other paramedics so what are the causes of this development of this white coat hypertension the exact causes of white coat hypertension are not fully understood still not clear however it is believed that it can be due to the body's natural response due to stress or anxiety and the white coat hypertension can be due to rise in level of anxiety fear and nervousness if the blood pressure recordings are being done in any clinical setting which we have already discussed in any doctor's office or in a clinic or in any hospital and if the, this bp recording is done by any healthcare provider however the such white coat hypertension condition is very common in individuals who have already fear of medical procedures or if they have any history of anxiety related disorders why the diagnosis of white coat hypertension is important it is seen that the white coat hypertension is more pronounced more prevalent if the person if the patient is sitting in front of the physician as compared to the nurse or in any paramedics this white coat hypertension is seen in about 10 to 30% of the population it means it is very common and as compared to normal individual it is very common in few of the categories which includes female it is more common in female as compared to the males it is common in non smokers it is very common in children and elderly the diagnosis of white coat hypertension is very very much essential because it may lead to misdiagnosis of normal individual into the hypertension and which can further lead to unnecessary treatment or medication of normal individual which is actually not having the hypertension such increase in blood pressure in any medical setting will lead to falsely elevated readings of the blood pressure in a person who is actually not having hypertension it means in fact their blood pressure is normal in their everyday life it is seen that if this white coat hypertension is if untreated then there will be 36% increased risk of development of myocardial infarction stroke and other cardiovascular abnormalities in such individual as compared to the normal individual so to confirm this white coat hypertension from the true or actual hypertension two methods can be utilized which are known as ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or abpm and home blood pressure monitoring also known as hbpm discussing to the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring this ambulatory blood pressure monitoring involves wearing a portable blood pressure monitor as we can see in this picture and this portable blood pressure device measures the blood pressures in any individual 
over a 24 hour period and recording of the blood pressure in 24 hour period will definitely give a comprehensive view of the blood pressure and the fluctuation in the blood pressure in any individual. The diagnosis of white coat hypertension is confirmed if the blood pressure recordings are consistently higher in any medical setting as compared to the home setting or outside of these medical settings. Coming to the home blood pressure monitoring as BPM, the home blood pressure monitoring is a self measurement technique. It means here the blood pressure recordings are done by the patient or individual himself and this allow the individual to monitor their blood pressure regularly in a comfortable environment like uh, if the person is recording the blood pressure in his home as compared to the blood pressure recordings in any clinical or medical settings. Here the person or patient uses a home blood pressure monitor which is a portable electronic devices and the blood pressure recordings are done very comfortably by this equipment. Now let's discuss the differences between the white coat hypertension and regular or true hypertension. So white coat hypertension is a transient condition not a chronic or actual condition and this white coat hypertension is triggered by some situational effects which we have already discussed and these situational factors includes anxiety, stress and nervousness. However, the regular hypertension or true hypertension is a chronic condition where the blood pressure recordings, blood pressure measurements are consistently higher even outside of the medical settings. The individual with white coat hypertension do not have consistently elevated blood pressure level in their daily lives. The blood pressure levels will be found only high during the medical or clinical settings. However, the blood pressure recordings will be consistently higher in regular hypertension in home settings as well as in the medical settings. The white coat hypertension does not require the long term medication or any other stringent management strategies. However, the regular hypertension which is a true hypertension will definitely require the chronic treatment as well as it will also require the lifestyle modifications to control the blood pressure and to reduce the risk of associated complications with high blood pressure. Now we have come to the end of this video. Please like and share this video with others. Thank you so much.